Hey guys, to give you a little bit of background about why I like don't like pre-orders. Pre-orders, it is very easy if you collect a lot of money to then just kind of leave and say, you know what, I've collected a bunch of money. I am going to use it to help my lifestyle. And many people have done that in the past and many people will do it in the future. I'm looking at Mark's cards. I'm looking at Clutch Gaming or Clutch Cards. I'm looking at a lot of other individuals. Um, they have done exactly this. They do pre-orders and then like card bros. And then they disappear because they have spent the money. So very easy to spend other people's money, especially when you didn't earn it and you didn't work very hard to get it. Right? It is, you know, difficult to make money and appreciate money. But if you want to spend money, and everyone can spend money. Everyone can spend money, guys. It's not a skill set that people really, really need to have more of that. But to make money, to create a business and to do well in business, not easy. That itself is not easy. That is one of the most difficult things that you can do to provide a good service or a good product. Now, what did they spend the money on? Well, like most Magic of the Gathering players, they spent the money on OnlyFans models. <laughs> I wish I was kidding, but it, it seems like it went this way that he took his OnlyFans models. Uh, I think his name is Alex. I, I, I don't really remember what his name was. But he's caught on camera talking about how many girlfriends he has. Man, one girlfriend's enough, man. One girlfriend can spend money. You got five or six or seven or ten girlfriends on camera. Yikes, man. And you, you take them all to Disneyland, Tokyo, all at the same time. Buy all of them Rolexes, right? Like, one girlfriend is pretty much enough, right? One go digger is enough to make you broke. Now, if you want to accelerate this, then you can get 10 go diggers. Because that's what the boy did. And the boy did that with your money. And the boy be a, a criminal already. Wow. Um, yep, you, you cannot make this stuff up. I, I wish I was joking, but the guy is already a criminal and they decided, hey, you know what would be great? Why don't we partner up with this criminal? I'm sure he won't engage in any more criminal activities. He's definitely learned, right? Nope. Nope. Uh, didn't do that. Uh, decided to engage in more criminal activities. Not less. For more money. Now, whose fault is it? Is it the bull guy's fault for allowing this criminal to run this company? Yes. Undoubtedly, it is part of his fault. It is his responsibility as partners in a company to make sure that the accounting is correct. Like, you don't pre-order something and not get it. As a game store owner, your game store can go belly up really fast because that's money that is gone. And more to the point, you were expecting those cards. You were expecting that new set. If you don't get that new set, your players, and just forget the money, your players could be complete. They could leave you for another game store that does have it. So it's not only about the money it's also about the game store maybe has pre-ordered itself so the game store their pre-orders from a distributor that distribute and then that uh, their customers pre-order there and then suddenly there's no money left there's no money left so maybe uh, unfortunately your customer may be out of money right there's a scenario where these stores are getting the money because these stores, they live paycheck to paycheck. Many game stores are paycheck to paycheck. It's not like they have all that much cash flow, let's be honest with you. And they took a pre-order from their customer, then they pre-order from the distributor. That's very common. And now the customer is out money and the game store doesn't have the money to pay the customer because they already took the money. You'd be like, oh, can you give me an example of this? Yeah, I'll give you an example. Mark's Cards and Card Collector 2. Card Collector 2 is a big sports card guy here on YouTube. He pretended that he was going to grade other people. People have let him get away with a lot because he looks like a kid. But I'm not going to let him get away with this. He basically pretended that he was going to do group grading on his own. 
but he he used a third party, which is Mark's cards. So he paid Mark's cards. I think it was like a hundred. I think he was out two hundred thousand dollars. So he collected money from his customers, then gave that money with an upcharge and kept a little bit for himself to Mark's cards. Mark's cards was supposed to grade the cards and put the money in escrow to use at the time that the grading fee was due. They did not. They paid their family member. Mark's cards paid himself, his brother, his wife, his brother's wife, his brother's wife's husband, her brother's brother's wife's friend's husband. Like, you know, everyone in Mark's card be eating good because they're eating using your money. But Card Collector 2, which is a very big name on sports card mark, sports cards, uh, he got caught up and he got absolutely demolished. So he paid out of pocket and lost. He ate the money. Uh, PSA had to lose, eat the money as well. So again, one of the probably more interesting things that is coming out of this is like, what did they spend their money on? How the hell are you going to spend this money and then it's all gone? Like, where did the money go? Well, uh, very easily, um, the money went to uh, OnlyFans. Yes, just like it does in Magic the Gathering. And OnlyFans models were really, really interesting. Um, You know, they want you to take them to Disney Tokyo. We got 10 of them. And you got to uh, you got to uh, take them to Disney, right? It's uh, a sad thing, but I would imagine that this is actually kind of common. That this is more common than not, because when the money, the lifestyle, the luxury lifestyle, right, all the things that are happening. Yeah, that's where the money went. That is where the money went and the money was gone. And I think in terms of if it will ever be recovered, no. It absolutely will not be recovered because at it's gone. These are people who are irresponsible with money. These are people who are irresponsible with their business instead of building their business one pre-order at a time uh they basically wanted to get out and then hang out with their models and now they have to go back and maybe they have to go to prison the models in prison are slightly different than the models on OnlyFans this bold guy's in trouble too. I don't know why he continues to make videos. As a as a lawyer, he probably as a lawyer. I'm telling him he probably should stop making videos because he seems. I understand that he's like presenting his story of it, but he's just as guilty as them. He's a partner in the business, right? So the more guilty they are, the more guilty he is.